Beware of migration agents who spread wrong information on holiday and work visas. No work and holiday visa for Indians currently, clarifies Australia. Australia's Department of Home Affairs has said that it's currently negotiating a work and holiday visa arrangement with India. However, it's not in place just yet and any applications for this visa from India will fail. Unscrupulous migration agents operating overseas are resorting to misinformation about Australia's work and holiday visa to ensnare gullible visa seekers. Australia's Department of Home Affairs has clarified that this visa is not available for Indians yet. The department says any applications for work and holiday visa from India will not succeed as India currently is not among the eligible countries for this visa. Australia does not currently have a work and holiday, subclass 462 visa arrangement with India, so any application for this visa from an Indian national would not meet the legislative requirements, a spokesperson for the Department of Home Affairs. However, the department has confirmed that India is among the 13 countries that Australia is currently negotiating with to include them in the visa program. The other countries that Australia is negotiating with include Brazil, Mexico, Philippines, Switzerland, Mongolia, Monaco, Lithuania, Latvia, Fiji, Croatia, Solomon Islands, and Andorra. Immigration Minister David Coleman, while addressing concerns that adding more countries to this program could turn it into a doorway for low-skilled migrants into Australia, said last week that applicants would have to meet minimum requirements, including the functional level of English. Department of Home Affairs shows that the most number of visas allowed to any country under the work and holiday, subclass 462, visas 5,000, to China. The cap is different for different countries for this visa while the subclass 417 visa program is uncapped. Australia's farmer groups have been calling for a standalone agriculture visa that would allow them to source overseas workers particularly for working in farms. Despite initial impetus, the visa now seems to be in cold storage. The government's negotiation with these 13 countries to include them in work and holiday program is believed to be a measure to ease the farm labor shortage. Though some farmers have welcomed the proposal to extend this visa to new countries, they say it's only a temporary fix. Applying for the Work and Holiday Visa, Subclass 462 How to Apply Work and Holiday Visa Did I need to apply through migration agent? But, to be completely honest, you don't really need them for a Work and Holiday Visa application. It's very simple to do online and all you're really paying visa first for is the fast turnaround time. But if you're looking at traveling in December which is heaps of time, a work holiday visa application takes 16 days and can all be done online. A work and holiday visa subclass 462 will cost you approximately 440 Australian dollars when you apply through the Australian immigration website. A work and holiday visa through Visa First will cost you around 500 US dollars but you will be approved in 48 hours. Once the visa is approved, you have 12 months to enter the country to activate it thought I would just put that out there. Not trying to talk you out of anything but just wanted to let you know you have other options. Status of country caps. There is an annual limit or cap on the number of first work and holiday visas available in each program year, 1st of July to 30th of June, for applicants who hold a passport from the countries in the following table. Once the cap has been filled, no more applications can be lodged until the next program year. There is no cap on second or third work and holiday visas. The status indicators below show if applications for a first work and holiday visa are still open for your country of passport. There are several work and holiday visa holders in the Australian forums or Facebook group and they can give you a ton of advice. Just do a quick search on Facebook to find them. Thank you very much for your valuable time spending on this video please share and subscribe for more videos. My future videos are How to get sponsor visa How to get jobs in Australia before you enter Please stay tuned. Thank you very much.